Good day, Mr. Jenkins. I would like one bag of weed, please. Coming right up! Thank you. <laughs> this weed is so dank, so dank, so dank, so dank. I hope you enjoyed part one of the retrospective and now it's time for part two where we're focused on the in-between into stills and shorts ADHD brought us. I think you'd be surprised about what goes into making these. Heck, most of them are either random shorts and separate series in their own rights and that's what we're highlighting today. From the full-on move from Fox to FFX and airing only on Thursdays at midnight, cycling through the lineup of the skits that remain present and lasting until March 2016, but remain uncut. So let's get this road on to the show. The Lucas Bros present The Adventures of OG Sherlock Kush. First, the Lucas Brothers present The Adventures of OG Sherlock Kush. Think Sherlock Holmes as a pothead. Yes, the tale of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's master detective gets its turn in its head and there's very simplistic themes of minute-long shorts where the Tatelia character's escapade, escapades with the ganja where it gets him into either interintentional trouble or success. Very well, as long as you don't take it seriously, it's a decent watch as a time passer. And this next entry goes to all of you repetitive know-it-alls. You'll wonder why no one invites at parties. This is scientifically accurate, where the phrase ruining your childhood really steps into play. Using a known popular children's theme or song of a children's show, the lyrics are retrofitted with details, accurate inputs from whatever form the character takes, animation-like, animal, or being alike, with gruesome results. But does it stop us from enjoying? Who knows? I'll crush you yet. If you remembered Smosh's Onishi High School Battle, here's something up that alley. Schoolgirl Crush. With all the choices presented, their anime parodies were present and using limited animation at their disposal. But for this, we're focused on this poor magical henshin heroine getting into crazy idiosyncrasies of life, love, and abundance of anime tropes and references that feel akin to 2000s era Newgrounds as we all were. Spun off from Stone Quackers comes this interestingly appearing series of one of the main characters, Cap. The Tatelia character, Goffball, seeing the world through his eyes and experiences through its morbid sense of humor. It can do away with a lot with a limited time set, and there's so much it does with one each of its set of eps. From its, from its sophisticated sounding cat, who we hear through inner dialogue. With some of the liberties in that art style, it, it offers a different set of explorative storytelling as present. Give it a go when you can. Life sucks. Learn the how and the way with ADHDU shorts. Akin to Schoolhouse Rock with educating the masses with educational supplements with long. With song. With there's this. Heck, there are things even I didn't know until now. Ranging from politics, school workings, mortality. It's pretty freakish and garish stuff, but it aids well. Your goods will never leave my sight. I will have one eye on the drugs and the other eye looking in this sort of the other direction. Pug life! A gun-toning son of a bitch who gives zero hex and has reckless abandon. They didn't make much of this for so long, so I'll just leave it there. Okay, moving on from series to singular ones. I'll cover as much as I can, but not too much. Y'all yeah, gotta be surprised on your own when you see these for yourself. Sailor Moon's parody, which focuses on Brutal's omission. Thanks, Neil! Power Rangers, X Voltron, X Grim Lagan, X Transformers. You thought Endgame's crossover was ambitious? You haven't seen anything yet in this hybrid of mecha infused head on mayhem. Anime Family Matters. It's in the name. Make of it what you will. 
Attack on the cutest Titan. Mix AOT, three men and baby, and you have this mashup. Heh <laughs> kinda clever. And a few of a slew of more from the popular stuff from its heyday in the, to the mid 2010s like Marvel superheroes, 80s and video game retrospectives, and, and those that make you feel such as everyone is lonely and the depression some lie in lieu of music video with popish visuals. But there's one special and noteworthy track that gets us in a nostalgic mood. Remember when? Using 16-bit visuals that harkens towards a retro sentimentality of how one lived differently compared to now and how we can get lost in reviving the good moments. This did came at a right moment back then. Back when it was a pretty good time. But also missed the times of yesteryear, sometimes. But aware of things to come and how grateful one has advanced personally and how most of the best times are still ahead even when we don't seek them out and let life surprise us because you'll never know what you'll get well that's all i could have covered and the best part about it is that they're still available on animation domination high def still present youtube page even though adhd is over for now a bit longer than most they're still relatively busy making content for FFX Cable and starting a successor channel called AOK, which dwells further into pairing everything from schoolgirl, cartoon figures, video games, comic books, you name it. But alas, I think we've entertained y'all in this retrospective, plus in these moments. The arrival Adult Swim has picked up more of the flack and is giving us more of an entertaining aesthetic, which I feel works more there. But for all it's worth, ADHD came, they made their mark, and slipped quietly into the big beyond. But who knows what new stuff the creators of those contents will supply with next. When they do, I can't wait to find out.